Everything you see exists together in a delicate balance. The live action Lion King remake is expected to shatter box office records when it opens later this week, more than two decades after the original animated movie. And while the story on screen may stay the same, things are much different in real life for the world's lion population. It's taken a drastic turn and Canadians are among those who are trying to stop that loss. The Lion Recovery Fund aims to double the number of lions in the wild by 2050. The numbers are staggering. Just 50 years ago, there were an estimated 200,000 lions across Africa. Today, that number stands at less than 20,000, with a population decline of more than 40% over the last 20 years. And going back even further, the numbers get worse. When Beverly and I were born, there were 450,000 lions in the world, and today they're 20,000. So that's a 95% decline just in our short lives. World-renowned wildlife filmmakers Derek and Beverly Joubert have been on this conservation mission for almost 40 years. They're known for their up-close and personal documentaries and have appeared on 60 Minutes and The Ellen Show. They say they also consulted on the original Lion King and have been behind the scenes of this year's release. From what we've seen so far, is the messaging about conservation is going to be a little bit stronger in, in this version. They have watched as the lion population has lost 90% of its habitat to land development, farming and livestock. And a growing concern is trophy hunting and the import of animal parts, something Canada currently allows under strict regulations. We need people to lobby governments, the Canadian government, to ban the importation of trophies of lions, of skins, of ivory. What we always look at is there's a problem, what is the solution? And how can we make the area better so we keep it wild? And how can we make the communities better so that they benefit? And so this is a replica of what you... P pretty much. This Canadians are trying to be a part of that solution on the ground. Caledon resident Greg Gubitz is the founder of Big Life Foundation Canada, an organization that helps conserve wildlife in the Amboseli region of Kenya. In 2003, that area's lion population was down to just 10. The group has started a fund that pays out local farmers who have had their livestock killed by a lion. We will compensate you a portion of the value of that livestock provided nobody in your community kills in retaliation a lion for the next 90 days. So today, in that same area where I said there were 10 lions, there's 200 lions today and the population's growing. Unqualified success. Disney has started the Protect the Pride campaign to help raise money and awareness for the Lion Recovery Fund. Its goal is to double the number of lions in the wild by 2050, contributing to the circle of life. What are you hoping the release of the movie will do for the new fans of Lion King that weren't around for the first one who are now going to see this movie? Uh, well, I hope and I think I think it's probably going to happen because I'm, I'm seeing younger people getting involved more so than when I was a younger person in conservation, understanding the importance of wildlife and understanding the importance of helping our planet survive. These sorts of films and exposure just, just make the cause better, stronger. A new generation of fans can watch the remake when it's released on July 18th. For more on how Canadians can help with the conservation effort and for more from the Joubert's, you can head to our website citynews.ca. Tammy Sutherland, City News.